Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's just going to be a really casual get ready with me chit chat. I did a simple face of makeup. This is kind of my everyday go to quick mom life look. I still have to put chapstick and lip gloss on. I explained that in the video, my friends. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for more chit chat, get ready with me style videos. It was really fun to film to just show you my favorite things and then talk about random stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so the only thing I have put on my face so far is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness moisturizer. I've been really liking this for my rosacea. You guys can kind of tell my redness and stuff right now. Um, and discoloration on my cheeks. And it was really bad postpartum with Bryce. So I'm glad I found that. And then obviously like eating more plant-based diet has been helping. My face makeup for today is going to be um, a very simple everyday makeup and if I can link to anything down below that I'm using I will take the time to do that I know I am not the best at leaving links down below but I'm getting there guys I'm going to be using the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream you guys have heard me talk about this for years this is a whopping brand new tube because I've tried other stuff and haven't liked it as much and I'm just using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to apply it but you can apply this with your clean hands that's totally fine too oh man I forgot to put dry shampoo in my hair I'm gonna have to do that but I should preface maybe I already did in the intro that I am not the best um, editor <laughs> of my videos. I like to keep my videos as unedited as possible and just kind of mash the clips together and I find it interesting when people edit and even like in points of uh, like silence they will cut them out so there's literally like no seconds in between talking or movement or whatever but I just would rather keep it real with you guys and talk unfiltered. So if you get this It Cosmetic CC Cream, know that it takes a second to settle into your skin. Um, a lot of people that I've recommended it to, they're like, I put it on and my face just feels really oily and I totally can like relate to that. It's just I will put it on and then I usually go for my dry shampoo or um, then I put my concealer on and then after that minute or two has passed, it's a much better. This is just the Batiste dry shampoo. I get this also at Ulta. A lot of the stuff I use, I just get from Ulta. This stuff does have a little bit of a white cap, but same with this. You have to let it set before it really soaks in the oils. And I might do hair today. I might see how long this gets. Because <laughs> I don't know if you, you guys will all watch a like 20 or 30 minute video from me. You know, with makeup I can usually do in like 10 minutes or so. And I like a lot of dry shampoo. So, I just put that into my hair. Usually when I'm getting ready for the day, I'm watching YouTube videos on my phone because it's just my favorite thing to do while getting ready. And I don't get ready every day because I'm a mom. So my days that I get ready are limited. Just wash my hands quick because got dry shampoo, oil in there, and everything. I am gonna curl my hair today, so 
Let me know if you want to see another hair curling video. I do have quite a few. I can leave one down below. The most recent one is from when I was pregnant with Bryce, actually. And I did a hair curling video. My hair was quite a bit shorter then. But just while I let my dry shampoo soak in, I put my hair half up to keep it out of my way while I'm finishing my makeup. Then go on to the Holy Grail Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use light in um, the It Cosmetics line. And then this is also light neutral because I they told me to do neutral because of my dark circles under my eyes, which you guys probably also saw when I was showing you my bare face. But I don't know if I even apply makeup right, guys, but this is how I apply my makeup. So that's what we are going with. And this has been my go-to look for every day. Not necessarily like if my husband and I were going out for a date night, which my husband and I are actually pretty good about that, thankfully. I mean, obviously before we had Bryce and stuff, they were like once, twice a week <laughs> because we could. And now it's probably every other week, I would say. Although I do want to go to my favorite restaurant and we haven't been there for a long time and I am like legit craving it. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I really like this powder. I've used it for years. We purchased it many times. I just use a spoolie brush for my brows. I like the benefit gimme brow because it's just like a spoolie with some product on it they discontinued it said my benefit brow bar girl but she thinks that something's gonna come back and be better so i'm just taking a little bit of highlight i've been digging highlight lately just a little bit this is becca <laughs> Prosecco Pop is this one. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer today. The Benefit Hula is what I use, what I've always used. This was a kit from so long ago, you guys. I probably should get rid of it because I've had it for so long. <laughs> but I basically only use the bronzer because I have such red cheeks already from my rosacea that I don't have to put on blush and just throughout the day wearing, like as my CC cream or foundation wears off, I look like I have, um, I look like I have blush on. So now I'm just gonna take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I really love this palette and I just use like a whitish skin color and I put it all over my lid with my finger just to, this is like all over my eye, my lid, my brow bone. This is everywhere. And I just use my fingers. When I'm doing a darker, I look, I use brushes, but I'm just showing you my every day today mom look. The only thing you will not see is my chapstick because that is downstairs and my um, lip gloss because that is also in the diaper bag. But it's just like a new, they're very neutral colors. And I got this palette from my Fab Fit Fun Box. And you guys, I have loved everything in that box. Like, 
do you guys subscribe to FabFitFun? It's a quarterly um, subscription box, so I like that. I like that you get full-size stuff, and I was digging everything. This sweater is so comfortable, but it attracts everything. And then I just take this like champagne shimmery color, and I put it all over my lid. We are already at 10 minutes. So I probably will not be doing hair today. Guys, with this pregnancy, I'm like I'm almost 12 weeks now. I'm like 11 weeks and some days, and I will be doing a 12 week update, but um, I get so nauseous in the evening. Like once, it comes time to like cook Bryce's dinner. I'm so nauseous and I just, oh, like I cannot eat. It's really, really weird. Once I have that shimmery stuff applied, I just kind of go over and clean this up because it does fall out. And I don't know, I just feel like that cleans it up again. Then I will just apply some eyeliner because I like to have eyeliner on the top of my eyelids. Let's see. <sighs> this is going to be really hard to do, guys. Unless I do this in the viewfinder. Nope, that's just not going to... I'll be back with eyeliner on. <laughs> okay, so I did my eyeliner and my mascara. Just a straight line across the top. I used Kat Von D. Tattoo eyeliner. I like to purchase the travel size actually because it keeps it fresh. I don't know. And then I used the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which I'm usually totally fine with getting um, cheap mascaras, but I thought I'd treat myself. And I remembered I did like I did like that stuff. I'm looking for my protectant this is the Paul Mitchell hot off the press and I'll give you guys one little curl demo I do the same thing through my full head but sometimes I like if I have more time to get ready I will do three sections when I'm going fast I just curl my hair in one section today I'm kind of being well, not really lazy, but I'm gonna do it in two. So I'll curl this bottom half first, let it cool for a little bit, and then I'll move on. So this is about an inch and a half or an inch and quarter curly iron. I do have it set to super, super, super hot. I um, hold the clamp with my pointer finger, and so it's in my right hand right now and I'm curling my left side. And I start towards the top, See this big long piece that I still have out? I let this get hot, hold it for a few seconds, twirl it down, let it tighten again. I don't curl all the way down to the bottom. I keep about an inch out. So I'll come back so you guys can see that. And I mean, obviously don't fry your hair off with it being too hot. But if you can hold it there for a little while and get it hot, it'll hold better. Drop it down. Don't touch your curls. Okay, my friends, don't touch your curls. Um, let them cool. Oftentimes when I was working at my full-time job, oh, I totally see some mascara on my eye. That's gonna bug me. Um, when I was working at my job, I'd curl my hair leave for work, drive there, it was about, depending on tra traffic, 15, 20 minutes. And then when I pulled into the parking lot, I'd park, take my little mirror that's in my car on the sun visor thing, and then I would comb it out with my fingers. So that is my little mini hair tutorial for you. If you guys would like to see a more in-depth hair video, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. A lot of you guys ask what products I use, what I do for everyday makeup. A lot of you have asked for my smoky eye makeup. 
Please let me know if you want to see. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not claiming to be a beauty guru. I'm just a mom that likes to look somewhat put together. I totally need um, lip gloss on right now, I know. <laughs> but I like to look somewhat put together and I like to do this quickly. I think this video was 15-ish minutes and I was talking to you guys if I'm just focused on what I'm doing, I fly through this a lot faster. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy fitness, mommy, lifestyle type of videos, vlogs, full day of eatings. Um, those are the kind of videos that I have been making recently and you guys have been liking from the comments. I, I really am, am happy with um, how you guys are liking the videos that I'm making.